Hi, I'm Rachel from Kaggle, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Cloud AutoML so that you can use it in Kaggle Notebooks. So to start off with, I actually need to do some stuff on the Google Cloud console. Uh, and this is console.cloud.google.com. Uh, and you will um, be prompted to a create an account if you don't have one and just follow the prompts through. Uh, and you can see here I have this project dumbest possible app and I want to create uh, a new project. So let's call this one uh, auto ML example. It doesn't matter what you call it, but it will need to be a unique name. Uh, and you can see here is my project ID and I'm just going to copy and paste that for later. Um, it does need to be a unique name and you should remember it because again, you're going to need it later. So once you have created your, uh, your project, you can see that it's creating here. Creation in progress is what that flickering thing says. Sorry about that. Uh, what we need to do is enable AutoML specifically for that project. So each project just starts with nothing by default, or I think it, it has some things by default, but AutoML isn't one of them. So you need to add it to your project in order to be able to use it. So uh, the simplest way to do that is just to click up here, AutoML. Uh, and then the thing that we want is the Cloud AutoML API. Vision is specifically for vision tasks and translation is specifically for translation tasks. And you can do both of those with AutoML, but that's not what we're going to do. Uh, and you can see my project is AutoML example, and I need to enable the Cloud AutoML API for this specific project. So I will click that on. Uh, and if you haven't enabled billing, here you will be prompted to enable billing for your specific project. And again, follow the prompts through. Um, you will need a credit card for that. So unfortunately, you're not able to try this product out without a credit card. Uh, but if you are participating in the um, AutoML uh, part of the uh, event, which we have called practical model evaluation, December 3rd through 5th on Kaggle, um, you will be able to use credits. So um, we'll provide some, some funding for you to play around with the product. So once you have uh, enabled it, uh, you can then go to Kaggle and create a new notebook. So I'm going to hit new notebook here. Uh, I'm going to use Python rather than R because there isn't an R API, uh, an SDK for the API. Uh, and I'm going to use a notebook. You could also do a script if you like. I hit create. Uh, and from here, once my kernel launches, I'm going to need to go under add-ons and then add Google Cloud services. So this will allow me to link my account. Uh, and you can see here that I have the same account that I am using here in the uh, Google Cloud platform. Uh, I will attach the notebook uh, and then I'm going to add authorization for AutoML. So I, I already have BigQuery and I want to be able to use AutoML. So I'm going to add that. Um, and here's a place for you to check out pricing if you're interested. Um, so tables, um, there are deployment costs, there are prediction costs, and then there's also costs for training. Um, and everyone for, for each GCP account, you get uh, six free hours to, to try it out. But once you, once you use those hours, you do get um, uh, additional costs. And those hours are based on node time, not clock time. So you may, if you're, your job is parallelized, you may use those hours more quickly than six hours of just your model running. So and I'm good with that. So I'm going to hit enable, and I'm going to sign into my account in another window. Doo -ba -doo. All right, and now you can see it has been added. Uh, and I'm actually not going to, uh, well, I guess I'll keep it. I'm not going to copy this just yet. I will come back to it uh, because I have my, I want to have my uh, project ID uh, available for me because I'm going to need it so that uh, project ID. Um, so I've connected my account, but I haven't connected a specific project, and I need to know which project I'm going to be using. Um, so you see, I have I had a couple earlier. I had my um, uh, what was it, the dumbest possible API. And if I want to get this code snippet back, I can just uh, click back under add-ons and then Google Cloud Services and then copy to clipboard and paste this. Um, this project ID variable will need to be the ID for your specific project. So remember, I copied that during um, my project creation. Uh, and you can also find that in your Google Cloud console. Uh, and from here, I have a couple things I need to do. And I actually want to group these up together just for 
be a little bit more stylish. Get rid of this cell. Uh, and this project ID is in all caps here because it is, is a constant. You're going to use the same project ID throughout your whole notebook. Uh, and then from there, I can create a BigQuery client and an AutoML client. I don't actually need to use BigQuery for this particular uh, this particular project. Uh, and this AutoML client is what's going to allow me to um, run my model, to train it, and then later to do a uh, batch prediction um, if that was something that you were looking to do. All right, so that's all you need to do to get set up. Um, the steps that I didn't show were setting up a billing account um, and also creating your uh, GCP account in the first place, but there's pretty good um, click-through tutorials. Uh, and if you just try to go to uh, console.cloud.google.com, you'll be prompted through the account creation process. Uh, and when you um, click enable on the uh, AutoML API, if you don't have a billing account set up, you'll be prompted to go through that process. So follow through the prompts, uh, and then you'll be able to use uh, AutoML in Kaggle kernels. I hope you found this helpful, uh, and I look forward to seeing what you do with AutoML. I'll see you on Kaggle. Bye.